Hello, hello. Who's in the house? Becky's home. Hello. She's hello. here. <laughs> hello, hello. Like an echo. <laughs> Is anybody out there? Um, good morning, Becky. I know it's early. Hopefully we'll have some others. I did not post the link again this morning. I did it yesterday. Uh, so I didn't have to worry about it this morning. Um and good morning, Lisa. How are you doing? Good morning. I am great. It's Everybody, actually afternoon for me. It's one o'clock. Yeah, it's it's 10 here, you know. I was crazy and I got up and filmed my hop video. And I mean, I got up at six. It was early. It was too early for a person that stays home all the time. <laughs> That's right. Hello, Marguerite from beautiful British Columbia, Canada. How are you doing? Okay, we're gonna let go. We're gonna have a moment. And since there's only a few of us here, hey, Uda, how are you? I'm so glad you made it. Since there's only hey. a few of us here, I think we're gonna do something special. Let's, where are my Oracle cards? Let's find one of those today. Um, it's Ooh, been a while since I read uh, read an oracle card for us. Um, I want the actual deck. Where's my usual deck? That's the one I want. I'm looking here. I have this deck right here. I just think they're beautiful and I keep getting them. <laughs> oh, there they are. Okay. All right. So here we have this. I originally thought I would get these and tuck them into like pockets and stuff, you know, and then I end up keeping them because they're beautiful. Um, so I'm going to go single screen. Yes. Fun stuff here. Okay. And before we, you know, talk about the prompts and all of that stuff, let's do this. Let's, let's, uh, bless our week with some good positive energy. Shall we do that? I love um, this. I can use positive energy. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Tracy. Hi. Hey, Colleen. Hey, Tracy. I haven't done this for a while, so I hope that uh, it's it's uh, enlightening and fun and something to think about while you do your project or while you go through your week. Um, so we're just gonna put three of those out. Becky, okay. in one of our previous in one of um, the previous streams, Sharon actually. Um, did prompts for creating your own oracle or inspiration yes. card. that was last year it was a lot of fun um you know creating a personal and i don't it, it's all hooey it's just like fun that's what it is you know it's a fun thing to do and it's it's a fun way to reflect and think deeply and if you don't believe in this that's fine you could you know um we're just having fun here so no it's, nothing it's take what you can use and, <laughs> yes yes and otherwise and just use the rest. It as inspiration is exactly and it is inspiration so first we have deepening Ooh, that's perfect for what we're doing once you're on earth for enough lifetimes your old soul would begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender they bring pe the peace of god that's wonderful because we're talking about surrendering here. Hi, Carla. Welcome. And, and we really are. I mean, Hi, we're Miriam. playing with our soul here. Hi, Miriam. Okay. And the second one is ease. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. That means a lot, actually, because sometimes we don't feel like we're worthy and we don't feel like it's okay to receive. So we hold that back. And that doesn't mean somebody handing you something. That just means, you know, some peace generally. And reframe. Oh, oh, oh. Today, the um, the prompt is a door or a window. So check it out. Reframe. Isn't that weird? This is happening for me not to me. So I love those. Those were perfect for today, weren't they? Definitely. Yeah. Just some thoughts for the day. Some weird weirdness to add. Okay. So today, are you ready for this? Uh, Carrie shared a hundred perpetual prompts yesterday or the day. Oh, that's cool. 
That is cool. That's a lot of prompts at one time. I think my mind would go into overdrive. <laughs> it really would. So we do have our prompts from before. If anybody wants to take a screenshot. Um, and I will post this once we get to number five. The reason being, I'm going to be off for two weeks. And that's why we're doing these special like extra streams. Uh, and then we'll be back December 2nd. Um, so you guys can, you know, go enjoy the holidays and, um, you know, or other streams or whatever, <laughs> or work on your book. That'd be nice. Oh, we yeah. We will still this communicate through the, the, the thread in Messenger. Exactly. And if anybody that is not um, included in that private message thread for this art therapy therapy and with friends um, where we can share and inspire. Uh, let me know. I can add you to that thread and it's on Facebook. Um, that's, that's, it's fun. So today is a door or a window script. And then Lisa gets to choose. And what is your choice there, Lisa? Did you think my about choice it? is something tea dyed or stained? Oh, okay. Tea Hi, dyed. Hi, and hi, Marjorie. Hi, Sonia. Stained. Let's go through the hellos one more time here. We have, I don't have the list because, you know, uh, so I hope not to miss anybody. So in the house and in chat today, we have Becky, Uda, Marguerite, um, let's see, Colleen, Tracy. Um, Looking for everyone here. Sonia, Miriam, and I think that's it. Is that it? Did I miss anyone? I don't think so. Okay, so um, Miriam said that she is doing um, a New Year's stream a thon. Oh, oh, this January with um, Ralph. Is it Raul? Raul? All right. U L. Does Reynolds. he have a channel? He's been once yes. here, I think. Yes, or I he, saw him he does in another have a one. channel. Okay. I, I don't know what it's called. Miriam, what is his channel called? Let's do a little review of what I've done here. And then we'll review is what this, Lisa's done. Is this group of prompts four or five? Um, well, I was looking at this and we've actually had, because we did an, a spare, this is the fourth episode, but we actually, I did two, the second one so that everybody would have some prompts to take with them when they went. Um, yes. you know, so I mean, once in a while, it's good to throw that in there. And then I also have a question for everyone here, everyone that's been involved in all of this. Um, and congratulations, Miriam. Um, We'll have to check that out. So do you want to end this uh, in or continue through December for the two streams? And then in the new year, I have some plans. But do you want to continue this through December? We can. So show of hands if you want to. If not, we could do something else completely. But we do have some things coming up that we've planned. Um, I think um, to continue to work on it, you know, through the month of December. Yeah. Because I know that um, December is going to be a busy month for most people. Right. So it is. I don't, and, yeah. you know, even now I'd, I'd hate to see people feel like they're pressured to, to finish right. it. I think it should be like an ongoing okay. thing. So that, let's, and know, I won't I do like an extra can stream do it on their own. Because December's busy, we're only going to do the uh, the um, two streams in December. Maybe I'll throw in an extra or like a video. But then come back in January, and I'm thinking we might alter a book. How do you guys feel about that? Um, How does everybody feel about doing an altered book? Like an old book you find at the thrift store. We'll kind of take out some pages. We will alter some pages. Uh, I'll share one that I've done at another time. I love this. I kind of gave her a body here. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> she has a body. Yeah, I like that one. 
Um, I, I love the way it turned out. And then her, that was the last one. And if you saw, the she's, picture, she's amazing. Oh, I like Tracy. the texture you put on her lower, um, her torso. Oh, that's it, that uh, embossing glaze actually. And it didn't turn out very raised. So I cut her out and went from there. And then this one had the envelope that the coin envelope and then that envelope, which is fun. And that card comes out. But, hey, oh, and this every time I hint. those butts, I, I have to laugh. Yeah, it is funny. My, it, my it, was it was a good idea. It was a good idea. Okay, here's kind of where most people are saying to let the journal be an ongoing project. You know, okay. go ahead and do what we're going to do today. And okay. then um, we'll continue that through December. We'll continue to work on those. Okay. And then I'm seeing excitement about doing an altered book. So, um, you know, we okay. need to get the word out that, you know, if you want to do an altered book starting in January, we will, you know, just say the first time that we meet in January, let's have our um, books ready. Let's, yes. And get you don't have to book. do anything to that book. Just, you no. know, it has to be a book that you're ready. willing to sacrifice. Right. So, so we're going to be tearing out some of the pages to make some room for what we're going to do to it. And don't need to do anything with it. Just grab an old book. That's, you know, and then we'll begin from there. So you can start looking at one that's, you know, that you might want to dissect, basically. Um, all right, then that's the plan. Uh, so we'll be back December 2nd. And then I think there's only two Saturdays. I need to look at that, actually, because it could end up on Christmas. Lisa, I'm going to look at that while you show us what you've been doing. Do you have yours ready? You're on a uh, full screen. <laughs> it's good. I'm on full screen. I, I'm like a day late and a dollar short today. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but just so you know, I've been up since 530. Um, you know, one of the things that does go wrong with me that is, is acting up today. So it's been a busy day wow. and getting things done. But um, I think you've seen this that I did the other night. Um, and I am going to use, uh-oh, we're, we're buffering. Are, Are we? we buffering? Is anybody else That's what I've got done up? so far. I've done really well with getting my pages done. So um, what I'm going to do today is select a page that I want to put my window and my script on and my, my tea dye or stain. I have both. Okay. Let's see, um, Sonia. Question: Alter book a a glue in spine or string bound signatures? A glue in would work better, but either one will work for what we're doing. You you can alter both. Um, I know that if you you know don't take everything out of the book, you know it kind of works a little yes. better from what I well, what I've yeah. seen. We're gonna take out like two thirds of the pages in like a pattern so that we have a little more room. And then there are ways to secure those pages that are left behind. Um, Lisa, your, your uh, camera is really close to your desk. I don't know if you can see that. Is there an option to go higher? Um, yeah. Oh, there are three Saturdays in December, you guys, the second, the 16th and the 30th. And we may we may do all that, or we may take that uh, uh, New Year's Eve sort of Saturday off. So we'll we'll see how it's going then. Okay. Um, okay. This is the page I think I'm gonna use to work on today. Um, that's where I'm gonna put my window. Uh huh. And then I have kind of an idea. Um, you're not buffering, Carla. That's that's good. That's good. And everybody. Okay. Um, so I'm thinking I want to kind of tear a window out or I want to make a, a door with some things behind them. Kind of like the idea of an advent calendar. And I, I couldn't decide which. So I will. Oh, I like that. This. Um, and I'm trying to find uh, some pages here. I'm going to get my papers out. 
Then I have, you know, I found these from socks that I had saved from new socks. Isn't that fun? Um, we had some one time from socks and they were a real strange shape. <laughs> we laughed yeah, so hard like and the kids said, don't throw those away. They're funny. <laughs> They're um, really thick, actually. So I, I, I'll probably do some in-between pages with those. I just thought that was fun. Um, so that I'm is gonna fun. find something. I want to use this. This is a scrap from my hop project that I was just working on. So. I, I really like it. It's got a lot of oxidizing going on and it's, it, I really like that. So I kind of want to use that. Uh, where am I not? I don't know. I'm feeling yellow today. Oh, Udo, you could do some stitching on your page. That would be really fun. And you know, there are windows in the kit. If you, if you want to just use the windows from the kit, it's fine too. Yeah. Um, that's good stuff. I want to pick my background of my focal point first so you go ahead and talk while i do that i am thinking that i will use this stained um coffee filter Ooh, and i, I think right i'm gonna here. fold it in half and then fold it in half again and i think i will just cut some little marks in it and make it look kind of like a um a arched window over the top of something oh yeah okay I like that. That's uh, kind of different, but I think it's, it's something that might end up interesting. I don't know. I've never done it, so we'll we'll try and see what I get. Well, that's the whole point. Never done it. Yes, right? Nikki, it is a coffee I filter. Like <laughs> <laughs> I I really like the never done it bit. You, it, this is such a fun way to you know try new stuff. Um. I, I love it. Lexi, so glad you're here. It's okay that you're late. We're just getting started. Um, I want something I can tear into. Maybe. If you hear it crash. I want a book page. I don't think I'm going to use that. It's too thin. I, I really want like a, like a book page, I think. Um, for my window bit to tear open, I think would be nice. So I would be covering most of that. It looks like I'm going to use that and maybe, and I'll get to the tea dyeing bit later. That's a, that's a, I can use, you guys know about these, right? My water pens that have chicory and, um, tea, like a dark tea. I also have rust water downstairs. Ooh. I should do one. These are just, these are great. Um, does the chicory, is the chicory is the chicory a a yellowish well, color? Yes, it's more golden. Here it is. It's it's different than tea. It's got more of a yellow to it than the um the or no this is this is walnut ink. I'm sorry, I'm lying about that. You could put coffee in it though. So I've got a yellow. Do you guys see the difference? And a clear that brush and a walnut. See that? It's a pretty yellow color. Um, is that texture on there or is that uh, a flat paper with a texture uh, it's gel. Uh, printed on it? It is or a gel print. That was is it? Ugly, ugly. So like a crinkly and I kept messing with it. And I took, um, I crinkled deli paper and put it on and um, then lifted it. And then I put this down and that's the oh, print yeah. I got. Uda has a question. I was, trying, I was going for a lot of earthy colors. Oh, yeah. It looks like texture, and I love that. Um, I love it when we get visual. You guys know I love texture, but visual texture is just the bee's knees. When you feel like you're looking at something that's deep and it's just flat, I love that. Um, Uda, I'm going to raise not... my camera up. So okay. if you go okay. single screen just a minute, I'm going to try okay. something. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, Uda, no, we did not sell them. The kits are rather large and they were created by my friend who has an Etsy shop. Um, uh, her name is Cheryl. She's over on the torn page and I might have her in a stream one day too. Uh, she's from the UK. Her time difference is different than, um, anyway, it's a free kit. Absolutely free. All you have to do is, um, email me and you will get this kit for free. And it's all art inspired because I love the juxtaposition of messy 
with refined kind of the opposites. There are a lot of William Waterhouse and she kind of created these paper dolls out of them. A lot of statues um, like that. Yeah. So I'm going to grab a book page and uh, while she's, oh, you got your camera. Okay. Is it better? Yes. Yes, okay. it is. Here, look, it is so much better. Can you tip it a little towards you? Just a little tip, tip, tip. Uh, Becky was playing with a coffee filter on gel plates last night. It is fun, isn't it? Sometimes you leave a little fuzz behind because coffee filters are a little fuzzy. But And, and you are ready, Lexi. Uh, anybody that's not in that chat uh, thread that wants to be that's here or watching on replay, let us know uh, if you want to share your work, you know, or, or get, uh, you know, if you get stuck or get a little uh, where you needed some extra inspiration. Um, so our prompts, I'm going to lay that out while I get a book page and let Lisa take over for a moment. Book pages. All right. Are you ready to see what, what it, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is what I've cut um, after multiple folds. And it'll probably look like a snowflake if I open it all the way up, but I'm not going to put it all. I'm going to put half on one side of the page and half on the other. Judah, Judah would you like to be in the chat? Because we can certainly add you in if that would be your preference. And if I'm saying it wrong, tell me because I'm I, I'm not good at names sometimes. I think it's Uda. Is that correct? Uda. The J is silent, correct? Okay, yeah. so it's Uda. Okay. I think, but we are <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> okay, anybody that's okay. watching on replay, please uh do all the you know the stuff, like, subscribe. Have you all given a thumbs up yet? That would be amazing. That would be so cool. <laughs> Lexi said she had to, to get rid of the jeans and put on some uh, cozy clothes because it was stifling her creativity. It, it Doesn't it, though? I cannot create if I'm not in my day pajamas, honestly. It is difficult. I think, unless I'm, unless I I'm out of wax, you know, in caustics. <laughs> okay. Uda, I will do my best to pronounce it correctly. Yes. Um, um, also, quick thing, Uda, did you find somebody to send you some um, goodies for the December ephemeral thing? If you did not, just message me and I will send you some. So I may use some of this because it's a ghost print and I like it. So I'm going to find my focal point first. Um, and I, I kind of have an idea to put these on each side of the door or the the opening i think that would be kind of fun I'm gonna see if i can find one that's cut out already because that's a pain i think um, what i want to use for script well i Ooh. think script or handwritten or um you could use one of the quotes from the kit if you want i mean you guys can do whatever's in your soul i I want to see a mess. I want to see creativity and and get in the zone. That means doodle, throw down layers, dust off products, finger paint, do whatever you feel happy doing. Um, and, and maybe experiment, go outside your comfort zone just a tiny bit and stretch yourself. So you're stretching your art, your art brain. Yes, definitely. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that's so good for us to do that experimenting and stretching. I'm trying to see if I have one that's kind of cut out already here. I had to print some more of them because I did my hop uh, project and I actually used some right. of these and it was fun. It was so fun. Um, don't I have some cut out? Come on. All right, well, I'm going to use her oh and gosh. maybe her. I've got some freebies that I had gotten that's got script on oh, it. There's one. Her and her. Garden the door. There we go. So I think I'm going to do a little hand, you know, like some 
a simic writing or something like that. It's not something I've That's done a lot of, and I think it would be fun. So is everybody comfortable and ready to go? We're all going to get in the zone and play. Okay. I want, and these are going to get coffee or tea stained. So let me, is, does walnut ink count? Yes, that would, it, because okay. it has a stain effect. Okay, so maybe I'll do one in the yellow and one in the brown um, to show the difference in color. Because what I want to do is layer these and tear out a door. I've seen other people do it. It's something I've been wanting to try. And look at this. I am determined and destined to do that. I'm going to take those words. I'm going to take them. That's it. Uh, Becky wants to know about the labels on your desk. They were some freebies from, um, let's see, I think it's Scrapbooking With Me is where I got these. Uh, she does a Friday freebie. If you're um, on her or her daughter's, you know, if you follow them on YouTube, you get you can get an email and every Friday you get really, really nice digitals for free. That's and nice. I like I like my free stuff. I mean, okay, I don't mind paying for something. But it was her um, name? It, her name's Edith, and um, her YouTube is uh, scrapbooking with me. I'll I'll put a link in. Okay. So I'm going to do something a little crazy here. I'll take my book page. And I'm going to spray at my desk, which is dangerous. So watch the camera lens. <laughs> <laughs> right so i'm going to use my you remember the continuous spray that i made um this is working great by the way uh on this because it's the continuous bottle if anybody missed it you get them on amazon it's a new thing now and they're made for like hair stuff but it works really good to make your own spray paint and this is just walnut crystals and water right here maybe i should just go all the way over and then maybe a strip or I've got lots of strips. Okay. I'm just going to grab a strip here. Uh, I like the flowers. Those are nice. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. I mean, that, this is amazing that it just keeps going. I love it. And it doesn't clog so far. So far, no clog. Okay. So I'm going to take this other page right here. And I don't like the waste. Did I get the lens? <laughs> Let me move over just a little. Oh, yeah, Tracy, yeah, the, it, it's been good. wonderful. I should get some small ones for some other sprays that I've made. So that's my pickup. And I'm just going to set it off to the side. I like the, uh, the, the little the little tiny bottles that have like the needle nose on them the oh ones yeah. that i put in that actually come out bells? pretty good aren't they called sugar bell bottles isn't that what it is um i didn't I, buy the sugar bell but look, the uh, original I bought ones, yeah. i'm just not wasting I this don't is waste. um this is a poem that my mother-in-law evidently had had done for kids at school um to give their mothers and I have one copy of it and I think that I'm going to make this window to hold this. This is for Lexi right here. So she sees it while I'm doing this for a second. So we had a second yes. one on the second stream. This is our, this is our fourth episode doing this, but I gave two on the second one to get everybody, give everybody a jump start. There's that. And that, that's the one I'm going to use, I think. And then I'm going to do a little yellow on here, but I don't know. I'm, I'm going to do something different. little experiment here. Are you ready? Lexi, yeah. we'll, we'll um, go back over to make sure everybody's got the prompts. Yeah, we will. We don't want nobody to be left behind. Definitely. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of um, gesso here on this 
because the gesso is going to kind of be different when I, when I go over this with some spray or some, you know, a pen. It just gives a cool effect. And this is the time to do it, guys, with some, you know, experimenting going on. My desk in case, is in case y'all haven't figured it out, I'm a, I'm a very sentimental person about things Me too. that belong to my mother and my mother-in-law. I'm I'm kind of, you know, those things are special. Even if they're not of great value, they still, you know, I like including them in my, my things. It just makes them mean more to me. I am sentimental about everything. I, you know, get weird about it i mean um i even love using happy mail stuff um uh, because you know there's a sentiment it's it's sentimental it's from a friend you know um i love including that and i don't i don't really like to alter it too much um because i i feel like their hand was already in it and it's special and i have a bunch of stuff from judy and i've been Kind of, I even pulled a piece out to put in this book. I've been a little bit sentimental about about what's you know happened and everything. So we were good friends. Are you gonna be able to do it? I don't know. I I do get like hoardy with their stuff, but I mean, I I like to if it's a finished piece, if it's an unfinished piece, it's like a, a gel print or something that that was just sent in scraps to use. Um, I still am sentimental about it but, and I don't change it a whole lot, but you know, yeah, I get sentimental. I'm going to mute okay, myself so and let you chat for a minute there. Let me ask you a question real quick. Okay. So I just found this uh, random scrap in with my letters for some reason. What, would it be nice to make this look like a stained glass by using it scraps? It really would. It really would. I, to like, I'm kind of feeling some, that. To do some and like look, paper here's, painting. Here's a piece out of the book from GDP. Oh, oh, that would be so, great. I, I'm thinking maybe, maybe. Uh, can you raise? In. Can you either tip your camera a little towards you so we're we're just seeing the top half of what you're doing there? Um, are, are you on YouTube? Can you see it? I put you on full screen. I mean, if it's possible, there we go. I mean, You're getting you better. Get it up even higher. That's so much better. There we go. Is that better, guys? Um, okay, yeah, Lexi, the fifth set of prompts today, that's for today, is a door or a window, script, and Lisa's choice, and she chose tea dyed or stained. Oh, I'm holding it up like I'm on camera. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. But it was funny. <laughs> I do that all you the time when I'm talking to you. <laughs> I have when a weird just... sense of humor anyway. I have a, uh, yeah, I, I would hope so. That's why we get along so well. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to mute myself just for a moment because I want to um, dry this really quick and spray it. Of course, texture paste would have been good here. However, I'm I'm stacking these on top of each other and I'm going to tear and make kind of a, a thing. So uh, I'm going to try it at least. So, so I'm going to um, go ahead and I'm going to tear um, up these little pieces since, you know, I'm thinking... Make it look more like a stained glass and not a holy pocket. I think it might be better in the long run. And for this, I think I'm just going to use a glue stick. I think that's probably going to be the safest way to go. Lexi, um, if you want to leave the pay, you know, if you are missing the third prompts, which I think that's what you're, you're missing, um, we'll get those for you before the end of the stream. We don't want you to go crazy. We got to maintain what, order. Going crazy? Necessary. Who's going no, crazy no, no. on us? <laughs> we can't be crazy. 
I don't mind taking that to a different color. Go ahead. Where's Andy? Uh, what? We're missing Andy and Julie. Yes, I just want y'all to know if you watch later, I did miss you. Yes, we missed you. We do. Um, yeah, Eddie, Julie, Margolo, shout out. And then I hate to even do a, like a, 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 a name call because uh, a roll call because I don't want anybody to feel left out, you know. <laughs> if I missed you, it, it wasn't intentional. Because I can't think that easily. Where is my spray bottle? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's over here on the side. So I'm going to do a different color here because I want a little bit more contrast. So I think I'm going to use one of the sprays I made. He might still be playing with his bob, and you're right, um, Becky. Bless his heart. <laughs> That's very private, Becky. <laughs> I just want to say. Okay, I'm going to do this. And make a page out of this. I want a big stencil this time. I think I have Rhonda sitting here. Uh, see if it fits in there. So I've got, it's going to act different where I have the gesso. That's why I'm doing it this way. And guys, I made my favorite spray color. Um, I keep buying this one. I keep running out because it's such a tiny bottle. And it's one of my favorite new colors. And it's the Balmy Night from Dilutions. But I made the color. I did it. It's almost exactly the same color. Nert alert. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, well, you we know, don't have a nert here. Nert. We were, it's, um, I was watching Janet Nash and the nert came up. We, we don't have a nert. This is it there's well, more like a believe. experience around the campfire <laughs> what's that i said i feel like if we um had something that represented this group i think it might be you the know camp. just sitting yeah sitting by the campfire I singing kumbaya. <laughs> i love it that's oh that is super cool because it you know it's therapeutic it's therapy with friends Charmaine, we're also missing Charmaine. Charmaine. Charmaine's not here, right? No, I have not seen Charmaine. Um, uh, she caught up on all the videos and commented this morning that uh, I could bring the art and she'll bring the therapy uh, license because she's licensed and I did not know this. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. I'm just using this as a mop up. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll mark our territory. It's all fine. If you've seen one, are Becky, you going to pee on one. something? Is that your plan? Becky's going to take care of that for us. Okay. She's, she's going to christen christen the tree. Okay, let's see what we got. See what happens here. I want to show you. So when you put it over gesso, it is so much fun because it'll show the strokes from whatever you use and you, you know, but look what's happening. Let me get that on camera. I'm going to try to tilt it so you can see it. Um, right. Oh my gosh. You can't see it. Well, okay. You're going to have to take my word for it. This is really cool. All the little speckles where the gesso is and it kind of acted like a, not really a resist, but it toned down the color in some spots and I just love it. It, it creates hey, something Evie. cool. Hey, Evie. Violet. Violet. Hello, ladies. So glad you're that, here. That's who I missed. That is, I missed. I missed Evie and Violet and Trish and oh, so good. See, I that's why I, I hesitate to do a roll call. We have so many, so many arty friends that we love. Okay, this one's dry. So I'm going to decide. I'm just playing intuitively here. I have a small plan, just a little bit of a plan, and then I'm just playing because that, that's how to make it happen, right? I'm going to use this ugly page right here. That is how to make it happen. Or I'm going to use the back of it. And I'm going to tear a hole. Decide where this goes. Evie, here's our prompts for, for today. Right there. 
And I think I want to use something really refined with that. Some wallpaper. So, hmm, let's see. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. We've got um, a door or a window. Script. And then something that is either tea dyed or stained. Your choice. Ah, I made it bigger than I wanted. <laughs> That's okay. I can fix that. <laughs> Let's um, even that out a little bit. Oh, there's Julie sending me a message saying that she won't make it, I think. I didn't see the whole, you know how it flashes up and it doesn't, it goes too fast? That's what just happened. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to yeah, go okay. there. And then when this dries, I want to have this poking out of that. So I think I'm going to make this just a tiny bit bigger, but I like the arch shape that accidentally happened there. I want to keep this edge so you can see that pattern. And let's see, I don't want it to get too weak there. I didn't leave enough room for my little statues on the side. So there, gonna give them, let them guard the door like um, Egyptian statues. Might need a taller one there. We'll see That's how we're looking on when the front. I, when I get there. Yeah, I'm throwing those away. Watch me. I want a round of applause for throwing those little bits of paper away right there. <laughs> and this is destitute, so I'm going to throw that away, too. <laughs> oh, is Julie here? Did she show up? I don't see her as of yet. Okay. Um, I, I just saw a message from her, so yeah. Yeah. I wish I could have read it because it they go so fast. You know, it pops at the up at the bottom of your screen on your computer, and then it's gone. Yeah, so I'm gonna put something super That's refined on here, but I need another layer. I'm going. I'm 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 going rogue. I'm using the dryer. You see my grocery list. <laughs> That's how cheap I am. I had to convert my grocery list into a piece of paper when I first started making prints. <laughs> my husband, if I go down there to get paper, he'll say, again? <laughs> it's like, a, like uh, we got packages of it. Why, why can't I just have a pruner in my room? It would be so nice. Maybe I'll get one for Christmas. But I want a brayer. I really want a, 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 I mean, a baron. So I think I'd rather have a baron. That's what you're going to ask for. Hi, for Diane. Oh, that's Kirsten. Hey, Kirsten. That's Kirsten in Scotland. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, Super she's not that far from Glasgow. I'm coming so back. We, I'm we coming should back. invite her one day just to listen to her talk. Oh, I love it. Right. I love it. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm trying there to in a day, Like a, a dummy days. I really like hearing people from Scotland talk and from the and from the UK. I've watched quite a few YouTubers that are from that area because they make me happy. I have some super exciting, surprising things happening in January. You guys will have to watch for along those lines don't i lisa Ooh. i can't tell though it's gonna drive me nuts i'm trying to frame out and decide which because i'm gonna be tearing it a lot and i really like that so i don't want to so i think right there i think that's my spot right there so i need to and i'm just gonna have a little of that red kind of peeking out i think that's fun yeah i know i just teased you guys didn't i I'm good at that. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Colleen. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. 
Colleen said that um, when she had to set the voice in the car for the GPS, uh, she chose an Irish speaking person. Oh, I would. She said yeah. her daughter got in the car and the first time she heard it, it really threw her for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> well, you know, we before we went, um, we made sure we knew what was slang. And some of it we already knew because of a friend that comes over for a conference here in the States every year. Uh, it has since about 2006, I think. But um, she's like the host of the conference in the UK. And, you know, she got up one night and I think there might have been some alcohol involved. Just maybe. Um, <laughs> maybe. I, w I will just add that in there. She started mm -hmm. talking and she was talking about how different things were. Um, you know, the, the, the first time she came here. Now, this is after we've gotten to know her very well. And, you know, and she felt comfortable um, telling these things. But some of the words, you know, when they translate, they, they translate very poorly. I'm and sure. so we had to make sure that we knew what those particular words were so that we didn't make a big mistake in, in public and feel like fools. Oh, my goodness. I can't imagine. But it was so much fun. And we're 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 pretty sure we're going to go again. Um, she called and talked to us about it um, at, actually yesterday when we were out doing leave. So we got to. Uh, it's just crazy to me that you can sit in the sit sit on your back steps and talk to somebody in Scotland. Exactly. It's kind of wild. I watch a lot in. of Scottish any kind of anything filmed in Scotland, any Scottish documentary. Same with Ireland. I don't know. I'm I'm really sad that Shetland ended because I always look for shows that are in a little village like that, or you know, it it, it just feels so like home somehow i don't know why vera <laughs> anything in the uk in a in a village pretty much um you don't have a male voice kirsten she says i <laughs> oh i thought she said i have i'm i'm sorry <laughs> sorry I, I have a manly voice. I'm, I do. I, I haven't always, but my voice got deeper after they messed with my tonsils. It changed. Oh, I'm sure mine did from uh, smoking. Yeah, Bally Kiss Angel. Yes, that was good until they brought in all the new people. I still have uh, half of the last season left to watch because I just kind of lost it, interest. And I completely. Um, uh binged that show so i mean i was really sad to like yeah i don't really like these new people <laughs> oh my goodness i thought shetland was um done because he retired did they bring someone new in or is it his assistant that i love so much you'll have to tell us I'm I'm super excited about that idea. This is my favorite glue, guys. It's very flat when you when you want something flat. And um, I really need to clean up the edge because I keep having to like use all my muscles to open it. Uh, and it is the Crafters Workshop Matte Gel Medium, favorite one. And I have golden. I have. I mean, I, that's just the one I reach for when I want something flat. So. I'm going to just fold it over so I know where I'm at because I'm not going to trim it until after it dries. Now, um, yeah, get, I, I would love a list. That's great. I have several different platforms I watch on. Uh, my daughters have fits if I call them thongs. Oh, yeah, thongs are still thongs in Australia. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just said that. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> So I kind of want to even this up a little bit in a messy way. And I'm going to take off Has some of this. Has been following um, the situation in, I in Iceland? The 
volcanic activity? No, I haven't been. I've, oh I've been gosh. on a news hiatus. They've got like sh their streets are just opening up and steam's coming up out of it. I <gasps> mean, they've had I'm gonna have to see last that. night when we looked, they'd had like 17 earthquakes already, small ones. So, oh um, no, they're well, basically like a, a giant uh, um, uh, volcano that they're on. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's looking pretty, pretty bad right now. So all this working Keep them in your thoughts because when she blows, it's going to be ugly. It's going to be bad. It could, yeah. It could oh, send yeah. smoke into our atmosphere that could be dangerous for the world, in fact. So I hope that it slows down soon. And I really worry about people. I, I mean, um, those poor people. So I was yeah, going to put I've... that inside of this, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently, I think. Working intuitively. That's what we're doing. We are working intuitively. We are That's right. Scraps off our desk yeah. and we're making something happen. Uh, and I'm okay. sorry what about my camera work. It's my lousy. My just, just uh, I'll just own it right there. I'm going to own it. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Uh, so Kirsten said. There's a new woman uh, with the old one, which I ended up loving Tosh. Um, I thought she looked so young at first, but I just love her, her sense of humor and her RBF all the time or her look of shock all the time. I don't know what's going through her mind. <laughs> Sorry to change the subject. All, over and over, we go from, you know, earthquakes in Scotland to... We're working intuitively here. So no, is our not, brain. not earthquakes in Scotland. In <laughs> I Iceland. know. I know. We're, we're working Don't intuitively. Don't confuse me. <laughs> Abby is in North Carolina. That's where I'm at. We are about um, a, about a 30, a little over a 30 minute drive apart. And we are going to meet one well, day. We are. You should. I, I, can't I think we should goes. all get together, all of us. I mean, there's a lot of us in North Carolina. Is there? Who else yeah. is in North Carolina? You got Trish, Abby, um, Carla, uh, Pinka. Really? Um, I thought Pinka Granny. was more on the East Coast for some reason. So um, no, near I Charlotte. I decided on that. She's right about there. an hour and fifteen I don't minutes know away. But it would Hello. be so much fun. Like oh, Abby, be grateful you didn't pick up the North Carolina accent. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably lucky for that so i'm just kind of cutting right. out shapes and deciding where they go i am thinking now that i put this paper on this i probably need to put something stiff on the back of it to make it a, a real pocket what you think um let, let me see again because i'm looking at my own desk here Yeah, it probably does need something stiff behind it. Is that what you're saying? Is that the question? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking is that, it, you know, even if I have it folded, if I'm going to use it as a pocket, it probably would be wise to, um, you know, stabilize put something it. Stiff behind, yeah, to stabilize yeah. it. Exactly. Thank you. You found my words for me. <laughs> Good. Um, next time you can find mine because you know I'm going to lose them. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's early. I get up this early for you, Miriam, by the way, and Julie, and our international folks. All of our international um, friends get me this Kirsten, early. But you have to put up with it. <laughs> I do not have an iPhone. Um, we we have Androids. My daughter has yes. one that is just sitting somewhere in her room in her stuff that it is probably two years old, but it's, it's still, you know, she gets the newest phone. She very seldom waits to a new, you know, she's, she pretty much keeps a new phone. That's what happens when you live at home. You can do those things, but um, yeah, I've been trying to get her to get it unlocked. She owns it so she can have it unlocked and I could use it. And I keep saying, why don't you do that for me? Why don't you do that for me? So I guess I'll have to bribe her. 
Well, I use a camera. I don't use my phone. I used to use my phone, but I don't anymore. And it, it has um, really saved me. And I don't have an expensive camera or anything. It's just a camera, you know? So I'm going to do this and this. And I'm not sure about this yet. Maybe even... I do want to use some of this with it. I wish the patterns were a little different. That looks like a tuck spot to me for another, for maybe our books or for another day. I don't know. Uda, would you, are you saying put acetate over the top of it? Hmm. Uh, over, wouldn't it still kind of push down in if you don't, um, I, I'm still going to put a back on it, but that might be kind of cool. I mean, it would make it look like last class. It would. Yeah. Good idea. Great idea. I want to help this or this. And um, I'll add some different um, pops of color. I like this one a lot. And I like the numbers. So maybe... I love mixing together uh, these unexpected things, but I, I never reach for the scrapbook paper that I have, and I don't have very much of it. It's just when I had my old channel, I had we used a, more scrapbook paper. I do not have much, but it's I, I have more wallpaper probably. Um, but it's so nice to use those things with messy gel prints and stuff. I forget about my wallpaper, and I've got a lot. I, I, I do reach for that more than the, I, I forget about the, <laughs> about the scrapbook paper. <laughs> so I want to put kind of a little fun edge on this or a tab or something. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in the window yet, but I'll get there. Probably another All girl, right. a colored girl, uh, one, one with color. Do you Maybe. have trouble seeing the hole at the end of your glue to stick the pin back in? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my I goodness, mean, if, yes. If I take, I have to take my glasses off. I have to take my glasses off to be able to see it. It's so <laughs> well, crazy. I've been having a problem with my new glasses. I'm still not used to them. I, I, I have to switch back and forth all day long, but I've been having those. My ears have been really loud and I've been having headaches. And I don't think it's my glasses as much as I think it's... Um, my eyes and my ears what, doing something weird. And... Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. Okay, Miriam. We'll see you later on. Hi, Hi Miriam. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you later. So I thought I would save that for another thing to put down one day. So I'm going to set that off to the side. And I feel like it needs something else that I'm missing here. Let me see what I've got in the magic box of goodies here. <laughs> right? I could, like... I um, have... My things that are, like, bits and pieces, most uh -huh. of them I have hanging up on a hanger in, in the closet. I've got, like, the pull-out drawers that roll on the bottom. I, I took the hanging rack out of it the second rack because it had two the daughter that was in this room she wanted when we were remodeled she wanted um her sweaters and blouses on top and her jeans on the bottom and then she wanted the other closet to hold her dresses uh -huh. she didn't have their new dresses which which made sense so that's the way we did it but when I came up here to take it as my craft room, I said, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> and, I just took and you get to, around. don't you? Well, yeah. it, actually, it actually works pretty good because um, my daughter will order stuff from Sheen and they, they come in these big zip bags. Uh -huh. And so she knows when she gets those, she'll bring the box and set it down for me to, to get what I want out of it. And I get all the zip bags out. But I have one for like my oh, napkins, my collegiate, my um, fabric scraps, you know, just those little, little tiny things, little tiny pieces. But it really helps. It helps a whole lot. 
I'm just looking through my scrappiest scraps to see what I want to put in the back there. This might have been too stiff, but I think I got it. Did no are one you, ever? How are you attaching them? Are you putting it behind it or how are you doing that? I'll just that? do what he did with the signature. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I'm going to take the page that I had out. Uh-huh. And it's going to go inside. It's just going to go around it like this. Okay. So, Colleen, this is from you, <laughs> I believe. <laughs> I I sprinkled in some of the um, Happy Mail stuff. Okay, so I'm thinking myself, I've got these things from John David here, this paper. It's got some script on it. I could do my own too, or I could use that, you know. I do have this girl in red, or I have this pretty, pretty, and it's, it's a stamp, and it's on an old piece of, I wouldn't call it onion skin, but it's from an old receipt book. And that might be cool if I can get her to show up right here in the middle. Look at that. Yes. 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 Like that. And then maybe put this back up here. Maybe cut it out some more. Oh, okay. Yep. That's what, that's what I'm going to do. I don't know how it's going to glue down. We'll find out. Now, if I can just think where I have acetate. <laughs> oh, I know where I, I, I do know where I have some acetate. Back of this first. I've got extra pieces of that. Um, I, I have the the page protectors. That would work, right? Yeah. Um, like the thinner stuff. I would think yeah. some packaging. Do you have any packaging? Like, um, gosh. From anything, you know, that you, like you get your gel plate in or anything like that. I hope that's straight. I do, um, but they're they're not big enough pieces. I don't have anything. Most of them are not much bigger than a five by seven. Uh, I actually uh, tried something different, trying to uh, get my cover made for the December ephemera I'll thing. Need those. Because I thought, okay, you know, I've never done that. Maybe it'd be fun. And so I used the tops of two plastic containers that had um, vegetables in them that were, they call it pack and prep. They, they wash them and they cut them. And if you go in there in the morning, you could pick stuff up cheaper than you can buy it off the shelf and cut it yourself. So. I kind of take advantage of that since my hands are wonky. And you know, I like it. I like it pretty good. But take advantage yeah, of what? I'm sorry. I missed the very first sentence there and I'm listening, but I'm like, what is she here? What is that? Okay. <laughs> okay. What? This is this is it right here. Um, let me see. If oh, I can okay, get okay, okay. It's something called pick and prep. Uh-huh. Where they have oh, the me, me and this. My brain and this camera are, are not meeting eye to eye, but they cut, they wash your vegetables and they cut them and you uh -huh. can buy like, I can go in there and get slaw like in early in the morning. I can get like a three colored slaw that's kind of grated big and it'll be a dollar. I can't wow. buy a cabbage for a dollar. So I bring it home. I throw, throw it in a, a roasting pan and sprinkle some olive oil over it and some of that, um, Complete seasoning from uh, Badada, B-A-D-I-A. -A -A. But anyway. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Yes, uh, Colleen, I saw that it was your first year. And they're doing it a little bit different. It's not every day. Because uh, I think every day was a little bit hard for people that were trying to maintain their channels and participate. So... I, I think that was kind of cool that they decided it that way. Let's see. Yeah, if I'm going to do clear over here, I definitely need to get my script on it first. Yeah, Evie, the, they're, they're really clever. And the story of how they met and how they bonded a friendship is, it, it made me cry. Just another one of those. 
And who is it that hosts that? Louise Heinzel. Oh, I love Louise and Barbara. Louise I, I haven't and had Barbara. a chance to watch it. Yes, ages. that's who does yeah. it. And they do it every December. And I don't know how many people are participating, but it's huge. It's a big deal. They're just wonderful. I'm. They were so inspiring to me before I even, it was Carrie Gibson, Kylie Koo, and her old partner. Um, I'm trying to think of her name right now. Shabby Dabby uh, Doodah. Uh, Tina. Uh, Tina's great, but that, no, it was uh, uh, Kylie and. Somebody before that. It was Kylie and, I'm trying to think of who it was. Uh, in something, the Emporium. Kylie and somebody knows it anyway. And uh, uh, Louise Heinzel and Barbara 49 Dragonflies, those are the ones I watched before anything, you know, before before you guys knew me, even. Um, they were just, I didn't, I had never done any paper crafting, and it was just so Nina much fun. Ribera. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Kylie Ku, it was Nina and Kylie, yeah. Yep, yep. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I didn't know that we did something together. Huh? I said I did I did not see any of the stuff that they've done together. Really? But that's okay. Uh, well they didn't they I, had I love separate Kylie. channels. They had separate channels, but uh um uh, they had a page together, uh, a Facebook page together. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm either gonna do some clear there or because I'm gonna make that a door. I mean, because why not? I got my hop video done so I could play a little longer today for anybody that wants to hang out, you know. So I'm thinking just like this. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, no. <laughs> she has an idea. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Oh, I have those up, don't I? This is why, right here. Um, not sure I understand. I have a partner I exchanged bits with already. You're talking about something different. Um, yeah, the, that's part of the process of the doing the e December ephemera. And there's this cute little ki kid or little little critter that looks something between a bird and a a chicken. I, I'm not real sure what it's supposed to be, but it's adorable. Huh. Yeah, I saw uh, I when I was making the community post this morning with the prompts, I saw Louise Heinzel actually put up a Christmas thing and my chin hit my hit my chest. It was so gorgeous. <laughs> I I think I sat there with my mouth open for a little while, but I was just getting to my coffee. So I was a little she is. I, I mean the first time I watched her, I couldn't believe, you know, how how beautiful and how simple she made something look. Oh I mean, and she, um she's Bohemian definitely a good teacher. There's another one. Bohemian crafting. She also Hi Laura makes me um gasp every time hey laura I'm glad you're here okay so, so i'm going to try to keep this straight while i number attach Where that with these. Go? stay together now maybe a paper clip would work better because it's just not staying together or one of these I, I don't want it to slip around it's just heavy on there it's pick a clip day pick a clip so you know wild as you want to and that's what i'm doing here guys wild as i want to right i would break into heart let me go crazy on you maybe <laughs> i'm gonna put this all the way today over what oh I no i haven't anything today i haven't crazy are you on strike you. let me go crazy crazy on you 
too early for that that high pitch. So there we go. Okay, I've got something. I've got the a page protector out. Um, will my glitter glue be sufficient? Um, for your page protector? No, no, it will not. You're gonna want even a staple. Um, the art glitter glue is just not strong enough, and it will show. Um, okay. you might be able to use some Fabri-Tac, but it's still going to show. Um, I would figure out a different way to fasten it, like with a bread or, um, you know, something along those lines, a staple, um, you know, anybody else have any ideas I'm for thinking. connecting that? I, I think I can, I know what I'm going to do then. I am going to use the natural edge and I'm going to cut around it, leaving extra maybe inch and then i will put it down on the back side of it with the with a packing tape oh there you go so that, okay yeah yeah would that i tape mean would wouldn't work that fine. work yeah table work totally brad would be good yes where is he anyway <laughs> where brad where <laughs> I was getting ready to come up here this morning. My dog started grumbling, you know, like as soon as I say, I'm going to put your show on, he knows, he knows what's happening. He's mad at me. He's whining and pouting Whoa. on the sofa and he watches Jeff Corwin or rock the park or, you know, Jack Hanna. He I would laugh, if I put on two keys, but I can't so. laugh. Well, hey, I said I would laugh, but I can't because my daughter leaves the TV on for Luna. But she gets, I mean, she gets kind of lonesome if if she don't have yeah. you know, something going on. Yeah. She's a go, go, they go do. dog. She doesn't do well with the sitting. So. Yeah, it's it's coming along. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Uh, it's I I wanted it to look kind of like a stained glass window. Um, here here are our prompts right here. And Tracy leaves the TV on for her dog, so no no, <laughs> no shame there. We are not alone then. Is that what you're saying? We are not Dogs alone. Dogs are like children, you know. You they really, are. You hate to leave them by themselves. And if you, you leave them, you feel guilty. This is going to be in my way, I think. Because I want That's my the way I am about my here. plants. I don't have pets anymore. Um, if I want to want love on pets, I just go pick up Luna. She, My daughter is just about 15 minutes away from me. So really not even 15. There's one stoplight in our town, and I have to go through that one stoplight. <laughs> you only have one stoplight in your town? Yep. How, how Guess awesome how many is traffic that? circles we have. Oh, how many? Two? No. We currently Too have many? three. We're oh, getting okay. ready to have Gosh, was close. four or five because they are... There was a place here where people would stop if the river was up. Um, they would stop here. And this included military tr troops during the Civil War would come through here. And because the area that I live in is high, they would stop and camp here. So there's a great wagon trail road that led out west. And it, it went through our town. And it has been you know, privately held property, but the state's gobbling it up and, you know, there's plans to, you know, make a tribute to it. There's already a, a wagon that was made locally that's um, been put in a glass compartment. Well, that's cool. At a park. And now they're going to take the road that when they cut the new road, it's going to run parallel to the main road that comes into town. And so you'll come in one way and go out the other. So you live in a one horse town. <laughs> Don't you? Yeah, pretty much. 
I mean, we've got, you know, we've got a library. Our post office is, is very tiny, but there is a new one that's been built and it's taken them almost a year, literally, to get the post office to come, the, the U.S. Postal Service to come and do their part um, so that it can be certified and go into service. I would love but to it's live in a place that's small. walking distance of my house. It makes me happy to live in a place that small. When we yeah, go through, I, I mean, we like it. If we can get to the main, we get to Winston, which is, you know, the, the biggest town close by in about 15 minutes. And that's where most of my appointments are. So, you know, I'm, I'm in town. My dog is down there doing something. Or, or the cat. I, it sounds like elephants downstairs. I either have company that came in while I'm home alone or the dog and cat are chasing each other around the loop right now. Well, mama's Sorry. not there. So, I mean, yeah, it's a well, free for all, is it not? They're like little children. So you see what I did there? I just tore it away, like rolled it away. It's something I've been wanting to try and I've seen some other people do. And I think it's just so cool to really tear it up like that. So I'm going to ink it. I'm going to mute my That's sound my for just a minute. My youngest daughter's okay. trying to call him. Let me see what's going on here. Yes, Sonia, I, uh, a one horse town. I am liking that. I, the older I get, the more I want to be yeah. isolated or in the mountains or wherever. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm thanks, gonna... Laura. What's going on? Okay, so I'm going to get one of these. I have my little brushes over here. I'm going to hide that. Okay. Of me. All right. Let well, Daddy know. Check Daddy. Are you okay? okay. All right. Love you too. Honey. Bye. Everything all right? Everything is fine. She just, she's coming home early. Where she works, um, she's a loan officer. And right now, uh -huh. business is slow. And they've been uh, off it, offering uh, voluntary time off, and she got selected for it today. <laughs> they sent um, all but ten of them home last week, and they they did some layoffs too. But where does she work? Luckily, yeah, she's she's a little bit concerned, but you know her people, her managers and stuff said that. That they'd have to carry her out over their dead bodies. So <laughs> I don't think she's going anywhere because she's a she's very good at her job. So they're not going to be in a hurry to move her out. It, it'll it'll get better. You know, this time of year is always kind of iffy, and then you have um, Christmas, and people are are not you know doing a lot of borrowing at Christmas. Time, they no. usually don't do it. They wait till after Christmas when they've already spent money to figure out how they're paying for it. So it'll it'll be crazy after Christmas. Be I just realized crazy. how late it is in November already, and I'm so behind. I'm so behind with. I mean, I need to get started. We have like a crazy Christmas with our adult kids treating them like children. You know. Well, we year. do the they same thing, it. and. <laughs> We've not even had, had that conversation yet. Yeah. <laughs> but now, now, one thing that Zoe did tell me she wanted, she's got all kinds of crystals in her room. And I think she's starting to feel like she might not want them all out. And she said, Mom, I want like a treasure box, a, a big, big box or, or, you know, something nice to store them in. So I got to figure out what what exactly to do. If we were closer, I know what I'd do. I'd bring some boxes to come to your house. <laughs> and we'd build her <laughs> one. We would. We could totally build her one. Yeah. They make it, lots of really cool little shelves for them that go on the wall now. Yeah. Her um, sister bought her one at, two years ago, and it's still in the box. Matter of fact, I think it's made its way back over to my room and my attic space again. Well, maybe you need to alter that for her. So yeah, it's, it. it's just not enough. It's nowhere near enough. So, uh -huh. or make her a treasure chest. Let's let's you know. Yeah, I know. I think that's what I looked. I looked when I was out today. I looked for you know something that might be suitable. But how big are we talking? I really think what she needs is a small little 
chest of some sort with drawers. Okay, so I'm probably going to cut these off if I need to because I want, I really want her there. Wait, I, I think I can get them in. Or, or they go here. Oh, there they go. That's fine. So do I want to cut their feet off? Maybe. Let's do that. I know y'all are going crazy. I keep forgetting that if I don't hold it to where you can see, but I've turned this thing every which way but loose so far. <laughs> you guys, make sure if... Uh... Uh, if there's anything that you want us to see, make sure you put it in all caps since we're both kind of working today on, um, you know, intuitively at our desks for inspiration. Um, that way make, we make sure that we can answer you. I can't even form words now because I'm in the zone. I want you to know that this zone. I made it. I'm here. You know, it's um, Sonia, yes, talk. I thought about a jewelry box and I did go by Goodwill today um, between my doctor's appointment and running by and picking up groceries for Thanksgiving, <laughs> which was fun. Yeah, the, these two guys come out and said, you must be real hungry. I said, I laughed. I said, Are you kidding? Yep. Well, Bill, Bill had this idea that maybe we should order monthly so you can imagine what size my order was <laughs> oh yeah it yeah uh, i discovered that it's it difficult took two... yeah I, I, I don't know that i like it like that but um, yeah we'll, i tried i'll give it a try you know and see if it makes a difference in how much we spend for groceries it might uh, I but discovered gonna, that the best way is weekly, actually. Because, well, that's um, that's kind of my yeah. feeling, too. But, you know, um, when you have to eat things that you might not particularly like, because it's getting to the end of the month and it's what's left. Yeah. Uh, the lesson gets learned. So, yeah, that's the way I'm playing that one. <laughs> I'm going to glue those down. Yeah, I'll be going to the, the high dollar store pick stuff up is what's going to happen that's the problem yeah and i've discovered if i do it weekly then i can plan the weekly meals instead of going crazy and feeling like i have to make sure oh we might run out i got to get a whole bunch of that knowing that i can do it again next week makes my grocery bill smaller you know knowing that oh i'll just i'll pick that up next week because we're not quite out you know instead well of and, way and that's what i do yeah. yeah Teresa's cat sleeps on her head oh my goodness <laughs> yeah mine tries to sleep on my lap where my lap is um every I miss night cats and she crawls she rolls in a blanket like a burrito too she makes a cat burrito it's the funniest thing when i can't find her i find a lump in the in the bed in the spare room because that's her bed um and there she is rolled up like a little burrito and I would love to see how she gets in there. I don't even know. <laughs> it has to happen somehow. I mean, she's rolled in it. And it's funny. <laughs> That's a, Martine's dog. If you sleep with her, she's constantly going from the top of the bed down to the bottom of the bed. And, and she'll get outside of the covers and then wake you up. To open the covers back up for her. Oh my gosh, it's funny. She's that she is that spoiled. When Zoe stayed with her the the couple of weeks that Martine was in California, she uh, she said, "Mom, you're not gonna believe this." I said, "No, I believe it." <laughs> <laughs> I had to take her off and put her back on because she wasn't even. Oh, I'm loving this. This is what happens when we work intuitively, right here. I didn't, I mean, I kind of had a rough idea, but I always like, I always like the result more when I just kind of start reaching for stuff. It's just, it, you know, I get better results if I don't plan too far ahead. I mean, I, you know, it's good to plan far ahead sometimes, but okay. And then I'm going to put this here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
maybe take um, Evie's idea and use a brat here and here to secure this so that it is a true pocket. Did you call it a brat? A brat. A brat. Isn't that what it is? A brat. <laughs> I thought, I thought it was a brat. <laughs> hey, it's a brat. That was an amazing. Oh my gosh, that was great. A brat. Yeah, I thought it was a brat. I, did I know it was a brat? Yeah, I think I did. I don't know, that's, but that was that's awesome. one of those word things, you know, like <laughs> my words get lost. Oh well. You know what I'm thinking, huh? <laughs> <laughs> mischievous little rascal here that was hilarious so what if i made a little um and uh did that with this um i know i want some red on here and i know i need to do some scripty stuff um i'm gonna think i'm doing it underneath oh, there's two of those I probably could have punched this out. I probably, no, I don't have a punch this size. That would have been nice though. A brat. I love this. Yes. From now on, ladies. Uh, sometimes I grab and glue. Turns out the best. Yes. When you let go, it's just, you know, when you have no expectations and you're doing whatever, it's just more um fun in the end you, you can see that you were in the zone that you were having joy and it it really shows hmm. belinda where's where is belinda today we, we're also missing her yeah i haven't seen belinda i know a wednesday morning is harder for people how is Wednesday morning for all you lovely ladies? I mean, well, if I changed my schedule up a little, I mean, I, I kind of put it out there last time, uh, wondering if I should be doing that. And maybe down here, down here. I'd like a brat. A brat. <laughs> a I'd brat. like to have some brats. I don't think they're in my diet, unfortunately. Diabetic people don't eat that stuff. Or they shouldn't. No, and that's probably hard. not. Because I sure as heck don't want no more medicine. Lord. Enough's enough. I hear you. What kind of shape do you have, Becky? I don't want to do that. I want this. After I cut that out, you know. Did you get a new snake or did you already have the snake? I know you were going to snake. Um, they call it. The snake convention? Or something. It, yeah, the, Something they have them time. here. Yeah. It's like some kind of reptile convention. Ooh, that green is kind of shiny. I'm just going to cut that out and see if I like it. You know, I end up with lots of pieces that I didn't oh, no. end up using. I don't know about you guys, but then I can use them later in another thing. I, I mean, sometimes I think, oh, I'm just wasting time making these maybe a whole page that I didn't end up using. Like the second one here but that means that it's ready for next time so i'm really not wasting time and i enjoyed it so there's no you know it's not a big deal i need to remember that i'm having joy and not feel like i wasted my time do you, do you feel like that lisa yeah i don't i don't want to waste time i don't have time to waste there's there's leaves everywhere <laughs> in a few weeks it's gonna let off a little bit though i'm 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 excited about my new tool though we can do it in about a third the time that it took us before 
come use your leaf blower over here for me. I don't like it. I don't want that. And I also don't want it to be so even um, where I put this here and this here and this here. It, it still needs to have an unevenness so it doesn't stand out weird and scream, I'm uneven, you know. So I don't know where yeah, that goes. I don't I somewhere. hate it when you, you put something together and then you realize once you've got it padded down, it's like, wait, it slipped. Oh, yeah. Boa. Oh. Do you uh, let it crawl on you? I'm just curious. Oh, every snake owner does, I think. It would be weird not to if they're not poisonous. I had a tarantula when I was a kid. <laughs> For no reason. I used She's to love I used to love to watch um my friend, one of Martine's friends had a snake and I, I used to like to watch her feed that silly thing. She feed it live mice. Oh I don't that's why I couldn't have a snake. I, yeah, no, no, not me. Not, not for you, huh? Well, I could never have a pet that I have to feed something to uh, like that. Um, send me your vegetarian pets, <laughs> you know, or, or ones that can eat kibble, you know, and eat the scraps. But I go through phases where I have a hard time eat, even eating meat because I feel guilty. So there's no way that I could feed a pinky to a snake. That, no. My son had rats at one point, pet rats. And one of them was pregnant when he got the rats and he didn't know it. And um, he, you know, they, they have babies so crazy. He actually had to, I'm going to put the darker one, um, get rid of them because, you know, they just kept breeding or he separated them. Um, and people wanted the pinkies to feed their snakes that he knew and he couldn't do it. Yeah. He just couldn't do it. It's, it's a sad thing for uh, a sensitive souls, I guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm extra sensitive. I think where my family grew up on farms Farm. and living off the yeah. land, um, they, they just take whatever, you know, comes their way. And if, if it happened yeah. that a pig got brought home, you know, we were just, we just called it pig. You know, we didn't name it. And we knew it would be sausage. I'd, I'd end up naming it. Yeah, I'd name it. That'd be it. The end. It's, um, it's just the way it goes. <laughs> You're terrified of tarantulas or snakes, Laura? Oh, I love bats. Oh, you give them baths. Okay, my eyes aren't working. I told you my glasses aren't working. My new ones, not working. <laughs> we we bathe about the baths. lizard. My daughter's lizard gets bathed too. Um, she, about once a week, we, you put her in the tub, you know, to keep her skin moist and not, not be all dried up and scaly. I want a pet raccoon. Sonia had a pet raccoon. Oh, that's one thing. We weren't allowed to have any wild animals. Um, somebody wanted to give us a ferret one time, and my dad was usually pretty okay with stuff. But he said, no, if it, if it might get in my shoes, it's not coming in the house. No. Really? <laughs> yeah. Becky, yeah. I could never think of them as feeders. There's, they're, they're alive. I have gone into the pet store and seen the cage for the feeders and wanted to rescue them because i i feel like they're poor little you know they have a life i you know it's sad i could i just couldn't do it i commend anyone that can do that but i could not well i don't know if commend is the right word Colleen, you know, shame on, shame on you time. no <laughs> just kidding Colleen, oh, we're glad Colleen, you came Thank you so much. I'm glad you had fun. That means a lot. Um, and we'll see you later. <laughs> oh, you have two cats and three birds. I did used to raise parrots. Huh. 
Huh. Um, I love parrots. Love them. And do you, are you afraid that your snakes are going to eat your other pets? I'm wondering, I'm wondering how big is your boa? You see what this is? It's my EKG or whatever it is from the hospital. Ah, I saved it to do something with. All right. Okay. Now, all I have to do, all that's left to do to this is to go downstairs and get my printed ladies and put them in. The boss man was printing them when I came upstairs. He had to stop and reorganize the counter. The shelf where, you know, those months supply of cans needed to go. <laughs> I love parrots. One of the neurologists that um, we're very familiar with, he has uh, parakeets. And those are the most spoiled things I've ever seen in my life. When he's out of the country, he, um, he actually called where the sitter was and he had conversations with the little birds. They were so cute. He'd, he'd talk to them in, in like a little, you know, like talking to a child. And they'd start just cooing and making the sweetest sounds. I thought it was pretty cool. All right. That's what I've got. And I, and I decided to put a blingy. I think Darcy sent these to me um, and when she was doing some cleaning. I bought a box of stuff from her, and she sent those. So... These were free, and I'm going to have my lady standing over here to the side when I get her put on. I wish I had more of this paper with the EKG on it. It's I've been using it. It's just very cool with your heartbeat on it. Yeah. I think it's looking good. Now, maybe I'll take the do the acemic writing inside this so i didn't end up doing a simic i just decided i was going to hand write on that and it's going to be yeah I, mine score. says um a bright new day and then i'm gonna have to let's see figure yeah, out birds to, and, birds and nasty. that's the part about birds <laughs> I don't mind I the mess with the birds. Um, I love birds. I do. I would probably have a bird if my dog would let me. Yeah, that's not. It's been a happen. long time. Yeah, and I, I don't. Think, I also love. I don't fish. think mayhem and is just going to be accepting of a yeah, another bird. He's not going to like that very much. I think he's past that. He is. Yes, he is. Okay, so I'm trying to decide how I want to connect this. And I might, I should have put another piece of paper under here. It would have been smart to have a wide piece and have it part of these brads. And then it could have been bent. But I might be able to do this with just some, maybe just some washi tape. Maybe I'll bend that back. Try, try some washi tape for a hinge. Because it needs a hinge. And there's a lot of ways you could do a hinge. Parakeets poop everywhere. No, I, I had mostly, I've had uh, two parakeets, but I mostly had parrots. And I actually had a thing on my table um, where they would um, uh, sit like a perch on my kitchen table. And when they weren't on top of their cage, because they were rarely in it, they were uh, on the perch on the table. So it like, and it had like a box at the bottom and it contained everything. It was like a tray. Okay. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to make a hinge with some tape. Sure. Right. Tracy had a parrot named that um, was named Scuttle. He oh, would say, that's hey, a cute boy, name. When I walk in the door because that's what he would say to him. <laughs> yeah you know when you have pets i mean they they have their own little personalities and it and when they, they sure do home, it is 
It is hard. Very hard. I, I do agree Well, you know that. me, feeding the wildlife out back. I can't help, I, you know, I, I'm just such an animal person. And I don't think it really matters what kind of animal. As long as I don't have to feed it live food, you know, or or whole animal food, let's say. Like right. a whole frozen rat or whatever. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use some washi tape here. Or I'm going to use this good electrical tape. My husband brings this home for me, and it's used in wiring inside cars. Um. Your parrot was a hot mess. I love seeing the different things people come up with for the same. Sonia, I agree. I um, I really like to take the prompts and see how everyone thinks differently. I mean, they just, everyone has a different um, perspective on everything. And no two will ever be alike with the same prompts. Even if you're using the same materials, you know. They're just not the same. No, they're not. I think that's part of the fun for me. Yes. Seeing how different things are. You know, what, what people create or what they, what their take is on it. So I think what I'm going to do here is trying to decide which way I want to take this. I think it needs to fold from the inside. So I'm going to put it, just don't want it to show a whole lot. That's looking really pretty. Um, well, I'm, I'm going for weird, but I'll take pretty. <laughs> you know, I'm always going for weird. I'm, go well, I'm going for, yeah. I was looking at um, Royal's website. And there was a lady uh -huh. on there that had done a um, a doll made out of muslin and painted it. She used a, um, it had a face. She had used a drawer pull for a, like a, a band on the top of the right. head, which really looked nice. And I told her, I said, hey, you need to check this. You need to check out Texture Junkies. I said, you Aww. have a very similar, you know, um, a, opinion or, or style that's very similar. Really? Um, it was really that's adorable. Fun. And it was all inside of a box. Uh, you and know, who, like a who was she box. again? Her name, what was it from again? I'll, I'll go back to the post and I'll, I'll, tag, I'll tag you in it. Okay. I was at the doctor's office and my time was on, you know, I have to sit there after they give me my allergy shots. I have to sit there for right. 30 minutes, which is like, I, I get lost um, or I cut things out. You know, I try to make it um, I'm trying to figure out how I productive want to do this. so that it's not just a waste of total waste of my time. Yeah, Sonia, I, I, I kind of like embrace the weird too. I yeah I, I, I do I mean, something's not great anymore. Be pretty, but most of the time, I just I just want them to be like freely, you know, free. Yes, freely made, not forced or. It's when it's when we force it that we don't like it as much. We're not as connected to it, really. I mean, exactly. I feel like I feel like it's, uh, this stuff is so sticky that it's like sticking to the plastic. I keep having to take it off and I'm just trying to figure out how to get it on there without, without having it stuck halfway already, like in places. It keeps sticking to itself. So I'm trying to figure it out. No, Laura, I, wrong. I think it's neat when it, this was a, they, she had painted the face on this muslin. And it was it was really cute. Um, it just had a lot of character, and you could see, you know, the different things that she had put into it. So it was nice. And Evie, I certainly do agree. Uh, I I don't try to I don't try to stand out, but I don't try to fit in either. Um, I just feel like, you know, at this point in my life. If you can like me or not like me, I mean, I'm not going to be mean to you either way, but um, 
I'm grateful for. I don't like it. You know, get reaching the point that I can say, you know, other people's opinion doesn't mold who it's I their, am. It's their business. Yeah, me yeah, too. If they don't I like think, me, that's 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 their problem. You know, I think we I, spend I'm not our life people. worrying about that. Really. We, we spend our life worrying about what people think of us and we get to a certain age and we, we realize it's, it's not good. It's, it's highly overrated, but I, I yeah. grew up, I mean, I think the reason I, I developed the way that I did is when I was growing up, my family drug us to church and, you know, we, they were just very strict and, you know, a lot of things just really happened that. I thought, you know, I don't want to be like that. So as I grew up, I just said, I'm, I'm not going to be, you know, a hypocrite and, you know, act right. like I like somebody if I right. don't. Well, I'll and, be kind to you, but, you know, I'm not going to be mean to you ever. I'm the uh, forever Buddhist who loves everyone. And it's, it's not for me about, um, about, I just try to have, let everybody be themselves, try to have a kind um, heart and try to, uh, you know, not judge people. And if there is someone in my orbit that I am uncomfortable with or uh, I uh, they're too negative or too, um, uh, it's hard to, words are hard, um, then I just cut them out of my orbit. So I don't, so there is no moment where I have to pretend to be nice or, um, I, I just try not to be around those people. You know, you guys probably know this already. It's the Buddhist in me and the spiritual person in me that, that does that. I don't know. Did I explain that? Yes. Right. You did a very good that job. Was tough. <laughs> those words were hard. <laughs> It, and he says, uh, you, you do you and I'll do me. Exactly. Exactly. Be me. And yeah, I love I, everyone. I do. Um, and you know, bless them if they have, uh, such a, uh, negative perspective or if they're not a kind person, um, you know, more, more power to them. I still don't like to play some of that. I'm going to have, I'm going to end up having to play you know, cover this bit and cover that bit because I didn't like it because I'm tearing off paper. Okay. I'm doing this. I really am. This is difficult. I'd like to say this is very difficult. I need to leave room for my holes too. Yeah. You know, all holes matter. <laughs> I was waiting. I, I said That's that. What... And that was the pause. I just had. Oh no. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Um, uh -oh. <laughs> the reason I said that is one of the uh, metal detectors that we watch, that's uh -huh. the way he closes out his little spiel after uh -oh. a <laughs> week of hunting. That's what they, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all, all holes matter. All, all holes matter. It means that, you know, if you get a signal, a repeating signal in a hole, you're supposed to dig it. Never so. know. Yeah. Yeah, never know. Sometimes it, it could be trash, it could be treasure. So you gotta gotta do the work to find out. <laughs> Cut out a tiny bit here, or Becky says she she kind of feels the same. Uh, we all are just on different we, journeys. That you, we are. You we're know, all we're all working to... hard. Yeah, we need to be ourselves and find you know our vibe that uh, attracts our tribe and, and find joy and happiness in each other and make the best of the life that we have in front of us. That's all we can do. That's it. That, that is true. And in, in the time you have. It, exactly. It, it is difficult. And um, what if I put a little bit of this back here? Somebody sent me this too. And I wish I had more of it. I don't remember. Or I bought it in a craft lot. I think it would be kind of fun behind right there at the top. Just a little piece of it on the door. I'm trying to make the door open better. Oh, we got. So just across. 
<clears throat> I could always cut up shapes like with a punch or something, but I'm going to have to fight with those. Laura says she loves the tag. Loving your tag. Oh, your tag is beautiful. It's your tag she's talking about, my dear. I don't have uh, This is the one from the other day. <laughs> I've, I finished one of them, but this was, a. I ended up cutting the envelope. And I thought, well, if I do that, then I can use the top for a card, you know, a journal card. So, yeah. I wasn't crazy about the mauve, but I did it. But we did it. Yeah. Mauve wasn't my favorite either. You know, I, I'm not. A I know that that's what was kind of funny. Well, and it's not quite pink, so it doesn't bother me as much as a, a baby pink. You know, this looks pink from a distance, but it's not. It's uh, the red and white check. I can't get this apart, though. I got to open it. I can, I can make a YouTube video just sitting trying to put my, my pin proper pin <laughs> back in my glue. And I'll do one about um, uh, opening your tape because I can't seem to do it or my, I, the sticker. How about just words, just some words that work <laughs> this morning, because that's where I'm at this morning. <laughs> I'm I'm surprised I fi I'm finding words actually. Usually, if I get up the way I did this morning, you know my words are, are may not may or may not come along with the ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it is. That's a good way to put it. Um, uh, my brain, and, and so that I'm not being vague and you know like not not saying it. Um. I, I, I have just, chronic pain, so, you know, they playing with my medicine and I got up this morning and every joint in my body was aching. I, I kid you not. It was down to my the joints in my toes. And I was like that for about two hours before I rolled out of bed. And I, I, I got up because I felt guilty because I couldn't be still. I, I couldn't get comfortable. So uh, luckily that has kind of subsided. And I'm hoping that the same thing doesn't happen tonight when I take that extra dose. Come on. Ugh. Well, yeah. It's a bummer. I, I like it's a mess bummer. With stuff like that. Well, it's terrible. You know, I can't it's open gotta, this. It's got to happen, though. Yeah, it does. How, do you guys have a tip for opening this stuff? I mean, is there a way? I have a pin here. Let's find it. I cannot believe how difficult this is to open. Are you trying to get the adhesive off of it? I'm trying to get the sticker back off. Yeah. Um, okay, I got it. Actually, I got only it. fold one of the corners down and then fold it back. That's about the only way I can do it. Yeah, I couldn't get one of the corners <laughs> at all. So I want the this part sticking out. But I kind of want to even with the other side. There we go. Look at that. Now I've got to fix this somehow. So, Sonia, you saved the acetate. I have a box I throw it all in from packaging. I showed that last time, I think. Um, because then I can use it for different stuff. Or as a, even as a paint palette is good. Yeah, a paint palette sounds cool. Well, and then remember I showed that, and then you can use your paint palette. I started this last time. It is not done, but um, remember that was my mauve paint palette or the second one I put on top of it, but that, that's not finished. Okay. I need to, it needs something right there, probably off to the side and then maybe some flowers. I never use flowers. Should I use flowers? Yes. Yeah. Go and there is flowers. There is no time limit on joy. Right? We should write that down. There is no time limit on joy. So if it takes you four hours, because we were talking about this in our in our um, chat thread about for the for the group, if it takes you a long time to do one page, you know, if you're having fun and you're feeling the 
therapeutic joy from making art, that's exactly where you should be. There is no rush. You just don't worry, be happy, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, and if you can't find something to be happy about, call me. Oh, Lisa, will you find happiness for everyone? Is that what you're saying? I'll make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I promise to be um, a supportive friend. You, you'll get lots of phone calls after this, you know. <laughs> That's okay. Um, How did I get the following shape, by the way? I had to use fluff as no doll shape stencil. What? I didn't understand that. Loving the arch frame. Oh, thank you so much, Sonia. <laughs> yeah, that's my window for sure. And I and I have another window page, remember? Um, she so she loves cathedral now. windows, by the way, in case I you do. have not noticed that in advance. Yeah. Well, and I do have one here, wherever it is. Right here. So this kind of goes along with this theme right here um, in the shape. Notice I used one of my stencils right here. My tree, mountain, and moon stencil right there. Okay. And that Laura's is, asking, is how, how did you make the doll? Uh, what, what doll are we talking about? This, that's a stamp if it's that. And then these ones are just, you know, from the kit. You have the kit, right, Laura? Laura, do you have the kit? If you don't have the kit, we can get it to Yeah, you. get with us and we'll work it out. Okay, so I want to put a couple flowers on there. And good thing with fastening with these, you can always dangle things from them. I mean, wouldn't it look cool with some beads dangled down here? Why not? I mean, or a tassel? Um, yes. yes. Just along the bottom. That would be cool. Um. But I want to, I need to do something here, even if it's just, I don't know what yet. No, she does not have the kit. Oh, okay. Is that what you're talking about? Is that what the question was? Yes. Okay. So get with us and we'll make sure that you get the kit. I'm, uh, I didn't know that you didn't have it. I kind of want to put cool things inside of those holes. So I'm not going to use that yet. Look at this. Ooh. And this is part of the kit. She fits. Maybe we'll make some um, little coin dangles. Okay. How about a little bit more of this? Ah, wrong cut. So oh, the doll was made um, by someone else. The doll that I was talking about was made by someone else that has a similar style to Sharon. She did not make the doll that I was talking about. I was telling her that um, there was somebody on another one of the the uh, Facebook pages that. Bye, Kirsten. Thank you so much for coming. Made one. Well, glad you made it. It was I'll fun. I'll try to add that to our group so that yes, you'll have do. it. Yes, please do. Let's see. Do I do it? We need to have Kirsten on once um, on our in our live stream. She hasn't done a live yeah, stream, and I've I actually when we met, I I talked to her about it and thought it would be cool, but then you know we get busy and all of this and that, so. One day yeah, we're gonna sit and listen to Kirsten, guys. One day. And you guys can sit and chat and ask her to say words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now yeah, say this. <laughs> I told her that would probably happen. So I think uh, we I think How we were do you want a crack? Like a carrot. <laughs> so I'm gonna use flowers and I don't think I wanna sit and cut them out because that's a pain. 
or I could cut them out of leopard spots. No, All right, this good. this tag is ahead. ready for my lady now. Ooh. It's okay, Laura. This is okay. We think this was some of my mom's scrap fabric. Mauve. It's marvelous. Mauve. <laughs> There's a star. I could use that. Uh, these don't quite match. It, it is fun when you can play with your friends. I, 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 said I was coming up the stairs to to um do FaceTime with Sharon and I said I have a play date and he said what are you five? <laughs> yes we are we are I five are. I agree I think that's wonderful. Uh, I'm gonna do it never too old there. I'm not growing up sorry nope. not happening nope I refuse to grow up I just decided I didn't want to do that I I can't believe he said that doesn't he know better <laughs> Doesn't he already oh, know that? It, Come on. Oh, yeah. He knows it. He knows it. <laughs> what are you, It's five? funny because um, some of our really good friends, when we go, go places, you know, it's sense. like, um, you know, her, her husband and I have similar personalities, and then she and Bill are similar. So they're both uh -huh. looking at us like, what? When we That's when we funny. were in Scotland, there were these signs that said "to let, to let," and we uh -huh. were both busted out laughing because it looked too much like toilet, but they were for lease. And oh yeah, for let. lease to let. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I thought right. you were saying to let, and. I, that's what I thought. I heard. So we're both standing under the sign, taking taking selfies of, of each other, <laughs> and, and, and they're both looking like crazy. you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> are, you, are you for real doing this? <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah, we did. We did it. I'll probably be pretty skinny by the time we go in June. I'll probably have lost fifty pounds by the time I go back. Well, you're going to need to come raid my closet, aren't I'm going to need new clothes. Isn't that terrible? I'm going to need new clothes. I need to clothes. lose weight and back myself into an old wardrobe so I have new clothes. Because, you know, you know, they fit for 10 minutes. So I've got this piece of really thick, old, I mean, old antique satin here. And um, came from a bag of quilt scraps, and they're so old. I stamped on it with some music notes and I'm thinking I'm going to put it somewhere on here. I just don't know where yet. I was kind of thinking I would curl it up right there a little bit, maybe, or put it like a tab somewhere. Oh, maybe like just this. As a tab. <laughs> Uda said that they have a tractor outlet called Try Trollet, Trollet, T R I O L E T, like a trollet. I gotta go to the trollet, <laughs> right? Is that what you're yep. saying? <laughs> yep. I like this. Funny. I, and I cut one off here. Maybe we'll just do the one. I stamped. I did this like a year ago, so the stamp, the music notes are well, fading. Uh, and okay, that works. Margaret says she worked with a fellow from um, Russia, and it and his name was pronounced Toilo, T O Y L O W, oh. and he changed it. I bet he did. Poor guy here in if I mean if he was living here in the U.S. was he? Oh was yeah, it? yeah. I can't say that I blame him. Yeah, I, I wouldn't blame Not him either. Not at all. So I'm, I'm crumpling this up like, you know, like it's got some movement here. A little piece of satin with the music notes. I just used some of my, this is like, um, if you haven't got this yet from the Dollar Tree, it is exactly the same as the Fabrifix or the um, three-in-one or whatever it's called. So just like that. Then I'll pull out a few little flowers. I haven't used a piece of fabric in ages. 
Okay, I had some flowers oh. out here. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, you were supposed to use some flowers. Yeah, I'm going to try. Where are they? Oh, here we go. I have some right here. I knew I had some out. All right. I don't even really know what's in here. It's a whole bunch of different stuff. It may not be the bag of flowers I thought it was. I don't know. <laughs> There's don't you hate when that happens. Yes. I want a poppy stamp. I really like poppies and I've been, mm, there's, there's poppies. I think poppies would give it a nice splash of color. That's exactly it. Um, I think, I'm thinking I like this kind of over her kind of off, but I'll trim it. It's just the book page edge is uneven on purpose it's on purpose uneven so <laughs> i want to cut it short of that because i can't get that torn edge with the sticker that's what i'm saying i have lost my mind i'm definitely in the zone i'm not forming words correctly and okay is Karen, out my mouth. where did you find your um transparent like your um those clear stickers that were on the clear oh, sheet. these Can ones I got a long time ago on, and uh, it, they're probably the only flower stickers that I have um, ever ordered, but they are from uh, AliExpress from a long time ago. Um, There's hives. Oh, I like that inappropriately. Um, let's see. I, I, they have them on all those. If you're not opposed to using uh, those websites, they have them, you know, all over. That's too big. Another thing that is fun to use uh, is temporary tattoos. They are great. You just have to seal over them when you're done um, because um, they, they can rub off if you don't. We don't want anything rubbing off. So temporary tattoos also come in beautiful golds and silvers and, and they're high shine. It's, it is a lot of fun. Nope. Maybe the tulip goes over here. I'm trying to get some balance here because this is evenly uneven on purpose. Evenly uneven on purpose. That's awesome. On purpose, not on purpose. Okay. Um, there because I have this weight over here, I need more weight over here now, which is, you know, great, whatever. Um, and this, I'm not sure, but I like where that ends up right there. The placement is kind of funny. Um, but I do need something a little heavier over here, and it needs to be sort of heavy in this region because this is down here, and I need to give it the, the weight it needs. Um, visual balance is a hard thing to explain, though. And I haven't thought still... about using nail stickers. Uh, those work, but they are tiny. And I do, I have used a few on little tiny, like, inchies that I, I which I hated making inchies. They're just not a big enough canvas for me. Um, I can't get enough in... It, because I'm a de detail person and I add so much to everything, I cannot put right. enough into an inch. I can't and be happy about it. An inch is not much. It is not much. I don't like it. Okay. I think I'm going to use this one. It is definitely com confining. Yes. And then, okay, I'm going to cut... I'm going to trim this and hopefully I'll still, you guys get to see me fuss with a sticker again. <laughs> These ones are hard too. <laughs> if you don't trim the edge off, it, it gets better. <laughs> but I'm about to trim the edge off. So you're, I'm giving myself fewer options. 
it's probably better to cut it after you peel it. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's a miracle. <laughs> Becky says she's got to go now. Oh, you Becky, thank you so done. much for being here. We really appreciate you. And we will see you later. Anybody that's coming in new or watching the replay, if you don't have the kit, it is free. And it is for all you texture junkies out there. Anybody that wants to join us. And you can use the kit in any way that you would like. Um, I mean, like, you can do whatever you want with it. You can't sell it, obviously. Um, but it would, it, it, it you know, you, you don't have to do this kind of a project is what I'm saying. You don't have to make a junkie art book, which is a cross between a junk journal and an art journal for us, at least. Um, you can do it any, any way you want. So. You know, I can't throw these away. All right, um, Becky, go get your housework Becky. done. We're cheering you on. I cannot throw these away. I'm looking at these in my trash and I'm just like, I cannot throw those away. They're cool. I would have to glue down the non-slicky side though. Okay. So there's that. Opens this way. You want to do a little trimming right here with these little scissors. Just on the hinge. All right, Evie. Bye-bye. Bye, Evie. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget the thumbs up, everyone. I'm terrible at asking for that stuff. <laughs> I just don't remember. Yes, we'll get you I, the I preview, Laura. Yeah, we will be here. I saw that Laura put a video out this morning. About nine hours ago. I think it was seven hours ago when I saw it, you know, like, but that was earlier. I'm going to see if that sticks to the plastic. I doubt it, but. So I think it's harder to get the pin back in the hole on your glue when you're, you know how your glue gets all gummed up at the end and it looks thicker. I think it's actually yeah. harder to get back in when it gets like that and you have to peel it off. I just have trouble seeing it, you know, literally have trouble seeing it. I have to take my glasses off. Once I do that, I'm fine. And then I need something. I have to tell you something here. funny. I had okay. to. Please. I lost the, the small tip off of my um, glitter glue. So I had uh -huh. to order a whole new setup. Oh, yeah. And for some reason, my, my tablet, you know, kind of locked me out of Amazon and told me it, it, my my tablet wasn't supported. Well, my tablet's not what? But a, about a year and a half old. So I sent uh -huh. an email to Bill and I said, hey, order this for me. Because usually, you know, I'll put stuff in the cart and, you know, he'll check it out all at the end of the day, whatever's in there. I mean, not that we order every day, but you know how it is with Amazon. Yeah, just anyway, stuff. Yeah. He, he messaged me. He said, are you sure this is what you want? I thought we didn't have glitter in the house. I said, no, it doesn't have glitter in it. Well, why is it called oh, glitter, the glue? Art glitter glue? Oh, glitter Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not glitter. Do you really fun. have a no glitter uh, rule? Do you really? Yes. Yes. Does that keep him away from the strippers? Is that the plan? I mean... Um, or is that so you can tell if he's been to the strip club? You have a no. No, rule, no. So it's because the kids. I mean, we had two girls. They played in glitter. They brought it everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. They wore a shirt with glitter. It was everywhere. And yes. Bill cleans the floors glitter and you can't that. get that stuff up. <laughs> you can't get it up. It's like. There hadn't been any glitter in this house in probably 15 years, but yet you can still find glitter somewhere. I mean, oh, bye, it comes Uda. off the cards. It comes off Thank the you. anything. Thank you for coming, Uda. Enjoy your lunch. Bye, bye Uda. Mwah. Okay, I know we have hit our two-hour mark here, guys. Um, but I did make my video a little earlier this morning so that I could follow my joy to its to its fullest. We've had some early days and I don't know how you feeling, Lisa. 
Are you feeling a little better than you were when we started? Yes. Then the art therapy is working, isn't it? It's working. Yes. Uda, contact us to get the kit. Or me, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, so we, um, sorry, go ahead and, you know, uh, finish with your glitter. I just wanted to say it is 14 minutes over and that is okay. If you can't stay, we are going to stay a little bit longer today. I'm going to do something crazy. It's time. And then there was silence. Yeah. Right? Yeah, there's silence for a moment. There won't be silence for long. Yeah, between the two of us? <laughs> <laughs> we got Let this. Let there be peace on earth, but not here. <laughs> oh, um, oh, your granddaughter loves glitter. Oh, no. You still find it. That's funny. Um, oh, good. You, like you'll the, find, I mean, you find it in the strangest places. You know, if you go somewhere where wow. there's glitter, you know, it'll end up between your cleavage, you know, your crack. Oh, yeah. Everything. I mean, yep, you, yep. you'll have it all over you. Behind your ears. I mean, yeah. When we had pants, it was even worse. Do you see what Lexi wrote? She got a secondhand blanket, got it home, and opened it up, and it had glitter in it. <laughs> Oh, Even when you have a no glitter rule, you know, <laughs> wash that blanket quick. A glitter okay, bomb. I'm feeling like um, this is done right here, and I absolutely love it. I really have more weight on this side, but the hinge is also over here, so it's okay. I feel like maybe some black dots right up in here. I'm just feeling like it needs maybe for right here, but that's it. What do you think? Few little I black dots. It. Yep, I'm gonna put them here because so I have black, black. I should stand that. What, what? Do you guys do this? Oh, I'm totally done with this. Oh, I'm done. Oh, no, wait. I just gotta do this real quick. Oh, wait. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> okay, now I'm done. You guys see me do this all the time. Do you do it? Change your mind. Keep finding things. I do. I do. You know what that means? You're following your joy. You're you're in this. That means you're in the zone because you can't stop. <laughs> but I I consider myself to do things in a more fluid way. I mean, I I don't. I may have an idea of how I want to start something or what I'm going to use, but I do not have a vision of the end result. Me either. I I do not. I never do in a on a project. Ever. Hi, Sherry. Hey, Sherry. Long time no see. How are you? Noodling. Noodling. Uh, is that like puttering? <laughs> it's the same time. Or... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got to put these flowers away. They're going to drive me crazy. I can't have these on my desk. Um, and I do need to find, I think I'm going to just do some little cutouts because I want to get finished with the inside of that page and do a couple little inserts or a dangle or something, something else weird with the rest of the time that we're on. Um, I don't think that I could do a couple little dangles. That would be all right. Um, I do need some black marks here and I'm just going to go like... Yep, that's where right. You, where are you from? I have a Sharpie. Oh, I'd love some noodles right now. Some noodles? The noodles are not on my menu right now. Oh. <laughs> I eat cabbage. Lots and lots of cabbage. Sometimes that's all you need. A Sharpie to find some balance. Just some mark making and a Sharpie. So there's the outside. I'm really happy with this. It's not my usual color palette. Um, and then right here, I'm just going to make a couple little punches, I think, and kind of like they're pillars. Um, maybe in this color, but I'm not sure. 
No, I not can't wait to get my ladies cut out, the rest of my ladies cut out. I'm just trying to find the piece of paper I want to use for this to punch. I think this is too close, but not close enough. Um, mum, mum, mum. How about bubbles? How about some bubbles? You got those? Bubbles! Oh, I, I like Chinese food too. And my daughter, her, she's been eating some um, Thai, Thai style noodles, and those are kind of nice. Uh, I I'm made sure that, some salads so with good. those. Wouldn't the rice noodles? Those? Are you talking about the rice noodles? Um, I don't know if they're rice noodles or not. I'll, we've got a box of them that needs to be fixed. Okay, there's nine bean not. noodles and rice noodles. I'll have to check it out and see which kind. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to use a stamp here and go a little crazy. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm just going to use this one because I love it. Because this is weird in general. And a color here. Like, uh, I want a color color for the, I'm going to stamp these. Oh, my hair is everywhere. And I'm going to use. I found this oh. at the thrift today. Decorating chalks. Let me see. Oh my gosh, really? That's For awesome. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. That is, that is really good. I've got I've got a full cool set. Of, I almost have two sets of pastels. They were my mom's. She had all you know everything. It was already got put in a box and sent over here. Oh, yes. Pad Thai noodles are delicious. Yeah, that's the salads we've been ma I've been making with Pad Thai noodles. Oh, um, those I'm are the sorry. rice noodles. Right? Some pretty colors in there. I make a, a noodle salad. Um, uh, those are really good colors, too. Really good yeah, colors. Yeah, they are. They are. Okay. Laura, I won't use them now because I don't want to get messy. I need to go out and walk as soon as we're done. Ooh, yeah, I need to yeah, okay. I have to walk at least a mile. At least a mile. Two two would be better. I want a little mister here because it's oxide. Hopefully that's not too wet. Sorry guys. I'm in the zone. I'm not looking at the screen. I hope I'm not missing anything. No, you're not missing anything. All right. And then you remember this pocket thing that I sewed up here um, out of a gel plate roll off. I'm just going to yes. stamp these off on here. I already have the one. Let's see if it shows up here. Oh yeah. There's um still some on there. It's funny how it's hard to get it to come off on, um, on roll off sometimes. A stamp. Right. Because of the different textures that are in there. Oh, I forgot about these. Okay. All right. So I'm going to decide here. I think I like the blue. I don't think I've ever used the persimmon other than to make a puddle and dip something through it. Um, it's, I mean, I got it. I, I don't know. It was one of the 
latest ones that I got, but it was a couple of years ago. Oh, it was in the, in the package that you got the group. Um, no, it was, I wanted, I was trying to collect all the colors. Um, uh, I don't, because paper crafting was new to me and it was when I had my old group. Uh, but I was still trying to collect all the colors, you know, um, for whatever reason. And I don't have them all yet. I would still like some more. I do reach for them a lot, though, in mixed media, more than I thought I would. For the paper crafting, which was new to me, however, I knew that I would use them. And I really like getting them, like putting them on a piece of plastic. And uh, that's a good thing for the acetate too. And spraying them with water and running things through them. I really like the effect that gives. Yeah. Yeah. Like this watercolory, you know, this is water soluble. Okay. So I have my EKG here. Be yourself. You are enough. Don't we all need to get up and say that every day? Um, I'm going to ink this up and I think I am done with this and I'll, then I'll do a, like a little paper clip or a dangle or something and that'll be enough. Hmm. Sorry. I'm in deep thought. <laughs> you used to have images of the court. <laughs> Will you use them now? What, what do you mean? The, the oh, inks? she was talking about the, the decorate the chalks. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that now. I would love to try some a set of pan pastels, but I don't know if it would be worth the money for me. You know, um, they're expensive. I've looked them up. I've seen um, Yolande, that's who, another person we're missing today. I've seen Yolande use them on camera on her gel plate to get in the detail of gel prints on the gel plate. Okay, and Sonia's got to go. Oh, Sonia, thank you so much for joining Hi. us. I know we are running late today. Um, so I, I totally understand. Well, I would anyway, but you have a magical day. Thank you for coming. Oh, I hope that you felt inspired and you go do something fun. Really. Right? It's my little spongy thing. Exactly. I need more coffee. I need. I don't know what I need. You need Zen a break. Music? You Zen probably need, need a break. Yeah, probably. Some, uh, some Buddhist and I need to go walk monk before it gets dark. Chanting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, here it's noon, you know, it's 12, 1220. Well, it's like 330 here. Oh, yeah. So it'll be dark by close to it, by five. It'll be getting dark. So. And we're supposed to walk two miles today. I should be doing that. Gosh, you should be proud of yourself. Yeah, yeah. I walked six days last week. The only day I didn't walk, we did leave. So, wow. I mean, I, that counts, leaving, right? Doing yard, getting out there in the yard is about 10,000 steps. I'm just pushing it back because, you know, it's, for me, it's got to be grungy. So, I'm just taking this um, ground espresso because it's got a cool color when I spray it. And I am going to get it a little wet. Okay. It's, it's the oxide. So the oxide, you know, does stuff. Let's use this instead of water. I'm using chicory. Tracy, I, I've got to... I've got to do it. I, I mean, I got to watch what I eat and I've got to do the exercise because um, my I'm diabetic and I have high blood pressure. And if I don't, it will shorten my life. So it's time to buckle down and get her done. Yeah, I need to do that. And, and it gets easier when you do it. Every day. 
All right, there we go. So I really love this. I am tickled pink with it or gold. I'm tickled gold. That's what I'm, watch this. I keep fiddling with it. That, that means that I love it. <laughs> I, just, I just can't stop. I'm just going to just put a little gold on here. I sprayed this with water and I need to mix it. So it's, it's pretty wet right now. Yeah, I have to look after myself. I can't be lazy and not not do it. That's not an option. I just love some golden grunge. Okay. Now for something that hangs on it. Or a tab. What a tab. I'm going to do a tab with, I should use some of these pieces that I cut off and maybe it's a tab like this. Oh, or like, okay, Lisa. Yes. This where it sticks up out of the book when it's closed or this where it's kind of like a tab. What do you think, guys? I like it on the side. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. On the side it is. <clears throat> so I'm just going to create like a... I don't know if it's going to come off and on, but it's definitely going to be connected to the back. And when I decorate this, I'll have to, you know, have it be a part of it somehow. But I need to stiffen it up with something really grungy because it's so refined. And it must be stiff. Let's see what I got. What? What, Lexi? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> do you remember that how about that yes i do of course i do uh, I what think was we're it all uh, different, different TV, strokes right was yeah. that yeah that's, different that's strokes. exactly yeah. what it was yeah so i've got this german writing here and i'm going to use the edge that has less writing so just a little bit of it's going to show up and then I can use this as a tag or a card or something to tuck into a pocket. So I want it to go like. <laughs> up on the top. Okay. I hear that my walking partner is ready. He's come up, got his jacket. Uh oh. So. Okay. Well, I'm, this is I'm a great to place to, to end up anyway, and I will finish this and take a few photos and put this on Instagram. I know it took us two hours to fiddle around and do, I mean, technically that's two pages, technically, um, but it was so much fun. I, I am. Yep. It, it has a been a fun. lot of fun. Yeah. We needed this. Oh, you buff for, yes. excuse yes, you. Yes, we did. <laughs> Excuse Definitely. you. <laughs> she buffered. <laughs> uh, uh -uh. Laura said it's around half eight in the evening in the UK. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, we have a lot of UK friends. I love that. Um, oh, Tracy said hearing you is making you start want to start walking. Ladies, come here. I really need to start walking. Maybe we could do it as a group. We can talk about art. We can look at inspiring things, take photos, you know, noodling. You're noodling again, noodling. Yes. Uh, what is noodling, by the way? I mean, that is a fishing term. Uh, it's it's actually a term for quite a few things. A, a train is going by, it's shaking my camera. Um, so what, what, 
Isn't that the second time you said noodling? Are you doodling? <laughs> Marguerite? <laughs> noodling and doodling. And Tracy Buffer. Bless her. It is such good therapy. And especially when you're doing it with your soul. Right, guys? Exactly. Well, show us what you got there, Lisa. I've been preoccupied with my own and I haven't looked up much. Um, so let's see it. I, you Hold know, it I worked on this one right here. This is the oh, no. inside. This will be the one that goes in the pocket. That's finished up from last week, except for her lady. It's awesome. The lady. And then you saw the uh, folded piece. I've got it stuck in the book now. Oh, <laughs> Marguerite said, messing with your artwork when it's already done, you're noodling. <laughs> That's that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I, I noodle a lot. Okay, go ahead, Lisa. Sorry. All right. Here we go. Look at that. I got it centered. That is so cool. Nice. It turned out it, nice. It looks really textured. It does. Yeah, it's it's definitely, you know, got a little extra to it. So I think it's going to look really pretty inside the book. It's really beautiful. So. Mine looks pink on camera, guys, and it's not. It's red. I swear it's red. <laughs> I swear all of that, that is red. It is not red. pink. What? <laughs> we know it's not pink. <laughs> I wait till you see my hop project. You'll be blown away. Um, well, I'm looking forward to it. And that's yes, Saturday. That's coming. Hey, you guys, the hop is this Saturday. Um, I won't be live. Uh, or did we say I would? Nope. This is the last one for two weeks. You guys all have a beautiful Thanksgiving holiday. Um, and I will see you December 2nd. Anything else you want to add there, Lisa? Love to you all. We'll see you next time. Much love. And we'll see you soon. Hey, share your fig your photos with us. We would love to yes, see I that. Will. And watch the hop this Saturday at noon Pacific time. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>